A lot of us, myself included, love a good Maduro wrapper. And the premium cigar community has been answering that with a flood of Maduro after Maduro after Maduro. Which begs the question, why? Why do we love Maduro? Why do we love that dark, scrumptious wrapper that calls to us from across the lounge to go over there and pick it up and put our nose holes all over it? Well, there are several answers to that and none at all. Let me explain. Maduro in Spanish means ripe. So they're using the Ligero and Viso leaves at the top of the plant, because even though they are the last ones to be on the plant, they stay on the longest when you're using the priming harvest method. If you don't know what priming harvest is, basically they grow the plant and then they start taking leaves off the bottom first and then wait a couple days, start taking higher leaves, wait a couple days, take higher. So the last ones to actually get picked are the top. They also get the most sun and are never shaded because like I said we looked before, they're the last ones on the plant. So because they are on the stalk and in the sun for so long, they soak up all the sugars and the oils and the starches from the stalk and they become thick and juicy and they just want to make you grab them. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Dark leaf wrappers are also fermented for much longer than their lighter leaf brothers, which also gives you a little bit more of that ripened meaning. But just so you know, priming harvest method is not the only way to get dark wrappers. Nowadays, Maduro can pass off for anything though. It doesn't necessarily mean ripe, it can just be a dark wrapper. There's companies out there putting Maduro on just about anything. So, I just told you that they take the top leaves for these wrappers, right? Ligero and Alto Viso. And if you've ever watched any video or studied anything about tobacco, you know that Ligero leaves are known for their spiciness. So, here's the question. Do Maduro wrappers mean the cigar is stronger? No. Cigar blenders are not color coding body and strength for you. When a blender is trying to come up with the perfect blend and he has just created his Sistine Chapel, he is not thinking, oh, well, I better put an Oscuro wrapper on this just so they know it's going to be a strong one. Every leaf in the cigar is meant for the sole purpose of bringing around complexity and taste. In fact, a lot of Maduro wrappers can bring a sweetness to an already spicy cigar. The Perdomo Habano blends are all medium to full bodied with different taste. So does this help you when you go into a cigar shop and you're looking for something new and there's not really a tobacconist in there, it's just the owner and they're not really sure what kind of cigars are in there because they don't smoke cigars themselves? It doesn't help you at all. You can get mild cigars that have Maduro wrappers on them. You can get really strong cigars that have Connecticut Shade wrappers on them. So the question remains, why do we like Maduro so much? For me, I like the way the wrapper looks. And because cigar smoking is just as much as the beauty of the rolled cigar, I'm justified, okay? got it other than that i trust the blender to give me a great profile whether it's wrapped in a light or dark wrapper what are we talking about oh yeah why do you love maduro wrappers? i don't know i'm not you i don't have your taste buds or your history with nicotine stop asking me stupid questions or just let me know in the comments why is it that you love the maduro wrapper?